What are the straightforward interview questions ask are what a difference between wear and dynamic and what is difference between read only and const. So if I talk about the wear keyword, so this keyword was introduced in C sharp 3.0 and this is strongly typed. The one thing behind the wear is that so its data type is determined after initializing after the first initializing let me emphasize that the first initialization of the variable as you can see i have initialized some var to of type with string now if i try to initialize the value as somewhere equal to 1.1 clr now will throw the, will be throwing the compile term error because clr now has information about what is the type of the somewhere variable so there are some constraints with the var type so we cannot declare the variable var type variable at the global level. See, we cannot. I cannot find the var keyword here. If I try to uh, declare such a string, some concrete data type, I can find that. So second constraint with the var type is that we cannot pass var as a parameter. So if I say public void display is public. If I try to pass string as a parameter, I can do that. But if I try to pass var as a parameter, I cannot do that. Talking about the dynamic keyword, so dynamic keyword was introduced in uh, C sharp 4.0. So in case of dynamic keyword, so variable type is determined at the runtime. So if I now initialize C somewhere equal to C 1.1, if I build it, it will not throw any exception or any error because CLR does not know what is the type of this dynamic keyword. So it will only be determined at the runtime. So can I give it try to declare a variable of type dynamic as a global one? Say dynamic, I can do that. Say some dynamic equal to 1.1. So this was the constraint in the var. We were not able to create a global level variable using the var. Now if I write the function, say public word display, now if I try to pass the dynamic as a parameter, see I am able to do that. Again if you are not pretty sure that what is the return type of your function, you can simply assign to dynamic variable type. Now talking about read only and const. So in order to demonstrate it, let me create a class, say my class and here I am just declaring say const public const say my const value equal to say okay let me make it as a private string now somewhere I've got a function public void display if I try to reinitialize this value my const equal to say raj if I try to compile it so it will be giving the compile term error stating that the left hand side of the assignment must be variable or property or an index. Now if we talk about the read only keyword, so in case of constant you will have you will have to initialize the uh, const at the declaration. But if I talk about say public read only say some read only variable equal to 1.1 let me make it as integer. Now if I try to now if I try to reinitialize this value inside this say some read only variable, I am not able to find this variable. If I forcibly try to do that, it will be giving the compile term error because CLR no, is now not able to find the some read only variable. So only the place where you can reinitialize the read only variable is that in the constructor here if i try to find this value say 1.1 say 200 or 100 so i'm able to do that thanks for watching this video please like and subscribe to this channel so that next time when i create the video you don't miss it